Hey guys, I wanted to show you a real quick, simple mallet I made with some scraps left over in the uh, garage. I built one before out of a branch from a uh, tree, and a lot of people liked that video. And we're kind of like, you know, like, wow, that's neat. And so this one here is just a little tiny two by two scrap of oak and a little uh, piece of uh, oak dowel. And uh, I uh, glued some scrap pieces of leather onto the end and uh, very simple and I finished off with a little bit of uh, boiled linseed oil just one coat just to give a little protection and a little nicer uh, color to it but that's it guys that simple I think this is a uh, I think it's a 7 8 wooden dowel so all I did was drill a small uh, hole into the bottom here and I ran it about two-thirds of the way in and then what I did was I took some uh, Gorilla Glue, some of that expanding Gorilla Glue and I basically uh, put it on a q-tip and I smeared it all around the inside of the hole so that it was all coating the uh, the outside of the hole and then I put probably three or four drops in the bottom just kind of dripped into the bottom and then I hammered in the uh, the handle which it really didn't need very hard hammering, but it was a, a little bit of a snug fit. So I hammered that in, kind of twisted around a little bit to uh, twist it around a little bit to give it a little, uh, let the glue spread out. And then what I did was basically put this into a uh, clamp so that it was clamped in there good and tight and let the glue set. And this thing is absolutely rock solid. I've just been pounding away with this thing. And it hasn't budged a bit. That glue is just uh, super, super tough. Like I said, then I just used, uh, I think, some epoxy and glued on uh, some leather scraps on the end. And I have a very simple scrap wood uh, mallet, very similar to the uh, tree branch mallet I made. Oh, geez, that's probably about a year ago now. But this one is uh, square, which I do like because if you are doing some woodworking and say you're working on a uh, square joint, this can get right into that corner to kind of give you that extra little tapping you need. The round one, you know, is great. It works great. But, you know, like I said, this gets me uh, into some areas, into some tighter corners for delicate kind of work that I need. Plus, you know, being oak, it's got enough weight to it where I can really, uh, you know, I can really uh, hammer down on stuff when I need to. So there it is, guys. It's scrap wood, pretty much free. You know, even if I bought it, the piece of oak was maybe six dollars for the whole piece and this is just a little tiny end scrap I had the dowel was maybe like four or five bucks if you were to buy the oak and the dowel you're talking maybe ten twelve bucks between the two of them and you could probably make six or eight of these so not too expensive at all for just stuff laying around